Welcome to this video series on monitoring cryogenic containers, also called dry shippers, and there is many different sizes available from uh, a few cubic centimeters to many hundred liters. They all work in the same way. They're filled with liquid nitrogen, which is keeping the temperature at negative 196 degrees centigrade. When talking about the specific monitoring requirements, we need to look at the specific process, which has three generic parts. The first, the preparation part, then the shipment part, and finally, the analysis part. In this video, we are walking through the requirements and we're looking at two different solutions. One is a classical PDF data logger with Bluetooth capability and the other one is a real-time device. Since the installation is very specific to the container type, I've prepared a separate video talking about the hardware specifications, the installation and also the calibration and the all the available certificates behind those two types. After installation, the data logger needs a configuration as a first step. Libero CE is a classical PDF data logger and it can be configured via the USB port using a simplified version called Smart Start. We select the profile and simply add the configuration profile. The full version of the configuration utility includes over 100 different configuration options and is only recommended to use if you have training. The second option is a smartphone app, which can be used to do some basic operations like start, pause or add shipment specific information. This can be very convenient if you run a fleet of containers turning around and for each shipment you want to add shipment specific information like for example customer name or shipment number. We are now ready for the preconditioning of the container. First, you want to start the data logger either in the smartphone app or on the data logger by pressing the button. Now we are documenting the cooldown phase uh, after filling the liquid nitrogen. Now the lid is taken off, product is inserted, the lid goes on at the customer, and now we are ready to start the uh, alarming by pressing the alarm on button. Somewhere in between product might be taken off so we want to pause the alarm and turn on the alarm again when we have the lid on. At the final destination we can now stop the data logger by either pressing the button on the device or we can also use the smartphone app to create and generate the PDF report. We have a separate software called ElproViewer to do some further analysis of the data if required. Let's now look at the second option, the real-time device. The configuration of the real-time device takes place via web browser in the Elpro Cloud software by running through a wizard at sender. The main difference is not only that we monitor and transmit the data in real time, but we are also monitoring different parameters. We have an external temperature at the sender tip, we have an internal sensor inside the device, then we also have a tilt sensor which can be used to uh, detect if the cryo container has fallen over or if the lid has taken been taken off. And we also have a light sensor. On top of that, we know the position of the device and we also have the capability to do real-time intervention since the data is communicated via public network directly into the cloud. Now, what does that mean for the shipment process? We've started the device in the cloud and now we have the option to interact with the device by setting marker points 
on the buttons. At the destination you can either interact with the device by pressing the stop button or you could also scan the QR code which automatically brings you to the web browser with the specific report and the curve and the map of this device. If you have the user credentials you can also do some further analysis with this data directly in the web browser. As a last step we are looking at the integration options. Libro CE is a classical PDF device so there is integration options to use the PDF to integrate it into a cold chain database or any other ERP. And the Libero GE is a real-time device. The data is already in the cloud. Also here you can integrate directly into a cold chain database or via REST API into any other ERP or database. Thanks for watching. Thank you.